Welcome to another Tigerfish tutorial. My name is Kurt Elsner and today I want to show you how to create this hot coal or glowing magma text in Photoshop. So let's take a look how it's done. So first of all you open a picture of a street which is coated with asphalt like this one here. Just step outside your front door and take a picture of the road but if you want to use this picture I'm using here, download the file on my website using this link. Next, you press T on your keyboard um, to get the type tool. Choose Arial and black font and a font size of 450 points. And use black as um, color. Then press on the image and type Coal. Select both layers by shift clicking on them, change to the move tool by pressing V on your keyboard and center the type on your image. Next you activate the coal layer and we want to apply several effects to the type. Um, first of all you um, click on the effects button and select stroke and here we apply the following values. Size 1, position inside. And blend mode is um, lighter color. Opacity stays at 100% and the fill type is a gradient. Here you click on the gradient, click on the color and change the color to the following values. Um, 30, 95 and 100%. Press OK. Activate um, this color stop, change the color and dial in the following values 10, 85 and 85, press OK and then select this opacity slider and uh, pull down the opacity to 0% and hit OK. And you can see um, here the stroke it's outside of the characters. Then um, you change the angle to 90 degrees so that you have the gradient from the um, position here down to the bottom. Okay, and uh, the last thing you change is the scale to 150%. Next, um, we want to apply a color overlay. Press on color overlay and here you change the color to um, hue, saturation and brightness 15% here. Press OK and the blend mode is normal. Then you um, add a drop shadow and for the drop shadow you change the values to multiply here black and the opacity is um, 85%. The angle of the light is 120 degrees distance 12, spread 0 and size is 10 pixels. Anti-alias is checked. That's it for the, <coughs> the drop shadow. Now we want an inner shadow and for the inner shadow we change the blend mode to saturation and um, we use the global light. The opacity is at 100% distance is 0, choke 0 and the size is 45 pixels. You press anti-alias um, um, to turn it on and the noise is 15%. And the next effect. We want an outer glow so um, check the outer glow box and here um, we change the blend mode to um, hard mix and um, the opacity we crank up to 100%. Noise again is 15% and you change the color here to black. Um, the uh, technique is softer, spread is 10%, size is 2 pixels and now we change the contour. You click on the contour image, go to the middle of this line and pull it down like so, press OK and um, the range is 50%, jitter is 0%. That's it for the outer glow. 
now check um, the inner glow box and here um, you ch change the blend mode to linear dodge add the opacity is 100% and click on the color icon and change the color hue saturation and brightness to 50, 30 and 100 press ok the um, technique is softer, source edge, choke um, 0 and size is 10 pixels the contour stays this uh, way and um, that's it for inner glow so next you activate bevel and emboss and here we change the style to um, outer bevel and the technique is chisel hard depth is 970 percent direction is up and the size is 5 pixels and um, here you uncheck this box and type in minus 110 degrees gloss contour stays um, this way highlight mode is normal and the shadow mode is normal um, the opacity for the highlight mode is 100% and um, you change the color to 10, 95 and 100 press OK and um, here you crank up the opacity to 100% as well and you change this color to 25, 20 and 10 to get a very dark gray press OK as texture we want a texture of a surface um, with some cracks in it uh, which are glowing with orange and for this purpose you download um, press ok you download um, this file here from our website using this link and you open it and go to um, edit and define pattern and um, for the name I type in uh, coal pattern press OK then you change back to the file here press on the effects and activate the texture box and now you have um, this pattern here which you uploaded right now activate it and um, you change the scale to 50% and um, the depth to minus 25 press um, OK so now you can see we have a bunch of effects here but they are not enough so you press with the right mouse button on this layer here and select duplicate layer I name it call 2 press OK and now um, you um, click with the right mouse button on the layer and select clear layer style so you get rid of all these effects here and um, the next step is to pull down the fill to 0% and um, now we want to add another um, bunch of effects so choose effects and choose inner shadow and for the inner shadow we um, first change the color so tie, uh, dial in the following values 30, 85, 95 press OK and um, the blend mode is color dodge next you dial in the following values uncheck the use global light and dial in minus 90 and um, distance is 20 pixels and the size is 30 pixels and anti-alias is checked next you add an inner glow so activate inner glow and here the blend mode is um, overlay the um, opacity is 25 percent noise stays at 0 percent uh, the color is white Technique softer edge <coughs> is changed to center and the size is 30 pixels and that's it for the inner glow now you add a bevel and emboss effect activate it 
and here you choose inner bevel and smooth the devs is 100 percent up and the size is 30 pixels and um, the angle stays at 120 degrees you uncheck use global light and the uh, um, altitude is 40 degrees um, check anti-alias and here you um, change uh, the highlight mode to saturation and the color to black press ok and crank up the opacity to 100 percent and lower this opacity for the shadow mode to 60 percent and the color uh, blend mode um, shadow mode is overlay um, that's it for bevel and emboss next you activate the pattern overlay and here you change um, the pattern to the pattern we uploaded and you change the um, blend mode to pin light and um, opacity is 100% and scale is 50% so if I move this window out of my way you can see here that you have placed the texture um, on your type and by pressing the left mouse button you can move it in a position you like like so for example Uh, I think I go back to inner shadow and pull the opacity up to 100% so and I think um, that will do press OK so next step you um, collapse the effects on both um, layers next you create a, a new layer and um, I name it pattern overlay and um, I place this um, between the type layer and the background layer and I place inside this layer the um, my texture file yeah, roughly like this pull it down to this position that's it okay and uh, next um, we apply a gradient map so go to um, um, uh, click on this layer press the right mouse button and select rasterize layer go to image adjustments and choose gradient map and here for the gradient map you use um, the following colors hue saturation and brightness you change only the brightness value press OK and um, select this color here and here you change brightness to 10 hit OK press OK and um, press OK and you change um, the blend mode um, for this layer to um, linear dodge and the opacity you pull down to um, 50% like so next you press E on your keyboard or um, you select the eraser and um, for the eraser we use a pixel size of 400 press OK and a hardness of um, 0 press OK and then um, we erase some of these areas here uh, just erase outside of your text like so back to the um, move tool next we select both um, type layers and um, press right mouse button and select convert to smart object and um, I rename them to text um, the uh, next step is you um, create another layer pull it um, beneath uh, the text layer and um, then I choose um, the brush tool 
and um, for the size I use a size of 180 pixels and hardness um, 0% and the opacity in the options bar I pull down to 80% and I switch the foreground background color so that my foreground color is black and um, as blend mode I use um, soft light and I add some shadows below the text like so uh, just paint in some shadows I like this um, some ash around of the glowing text okay like this yeah, this will do maybe raise the opacity a little bit higher and paint it in okay so next step is you again create a new layer and this one um, you name orange highlights uh, this one I call um, shadow and you select the orange highlight layer you um, choose the brush tool again and you pick a color which is hue 10 saturation 95 and um, brightness 90 and um, you reduce the opacity of the layer to around 30 percent and the opacity of the brush again to 80 percent and you paint in some highlights like so yeah, just where the type is glowing paint in some highlights okay yeah until you are satisfied maybe here a little bit okay afterwards um, you select the layer and go to filter blur and you choose Gaussian blur and the radius of um, 30 pixels to um, blurring the layer and you change um, the blend mode of this um, layer to linear dodge so next step is you select the text layer press right mouse button and select duplicate layer and here um, I name it smudged text press OK and um, this layer we um, rasterize so press a right mouse button and select rasterize layer and um, now we change to the smudge tool over here this hand with um, this outstretched finger and we want to blur the edges um, where the text is glowing orange so um, select the tool size of uh, 100 or 80 pixels the hardness is 0 and um, the tool has a strength of 30% um, now you zoom um, zoom up and um, you begin to smudge the text where it has these um, orange edges so like um, it's burning very hot move it over by pressing spacebar yeah I think I think that will do so next um, we want to add some contrast with a curves adjustment so you say uh, select layer and um, uh, image adjustment curves and um, here you pull down the line yeah, at this point here and pull it up at this point here 
Maybe a little bit more, a bit more. Okay. So next you create a new layer and this layer I call text shadows. And again you choose your brush with a brush hardness of 0% um, uh, a size of 150 pixels. And the color is black, so press D on your keyboard to uh, change the foreground color to black. And the opacity of the brush is 80%. And we draw some shadows over the text. Yeah. Like so. And if you are satisfied, you change the blend mode to soft light. Soft light and um, pull down the opacity to 60 or 70 percent. Okay, I choose um, 60 percent. Next, um, you create a new layer and this one we name yellow highlights. And um, we change um, the blend mode to um, linear uh, no color dodge to color dodge and again we use a brush size of 150 pixels hardness is zero and the opacity is 80 percent and um, for the color we change the foreground color to 40 saturation 70 and brightness 100 so we get this yellow color here and um, the opacity of this layer I change to 50% and just paint in some of these yellow highlights so you can see your text is glowing very hot I'll maybe reduce the size a little bit and where it's Oh, that looks nice. Okay. Then, next step. Again, we create a new layer and this one I call Highlights. I change um, the foreground color to white, press D on your keyboard and then X on your keyboard. And the blend mode I change to um, Overlay and I paid in some white areas and the brush size is 150 pixels, hardness is zero, opacity of the brush is 80 percent and paint in here yeah like if you um, have white areas of white ash yeah that looks very nice. That's it. Back to the move tool by pressing V on our keyboard. So now um, we want to add some smoke and for this purpose I create a new layer which I rename um, smoke and um, this layer I change to black by pressing um, control backspace on my keyboard and um, the blend mode of this layer I change to screen and um, now we want to um, paint in some smoke and for this purpose you need a smoke brush and if you don't have a smoke brush you can download um, five smoke brushes from our website and um, to um, load these brushes you select um, the brush presets here and you change to the menu and in the menu you select load brushes and then you um, upload this five smoke brushes file from our website and you get um, five smoke brushes down here okay you change to the brush tool change to the brush presets and change to the brush, 
change the size of your brush by pressing the Alt key and the right mouse button on your keyboard or the Options key and right mouse button on your keyboard and change the color to white and then you paint in some smoke maybe change the brush yeah like so The next step is we want to um, apply a levels adjustment layer. So you select this layer, the smoke layer, go up to your adjustments um, panel and choose levels. And we want to restrict the um, effect of this adjustment layer only to the smoke layer. So you go with the cursor on the horizontal line here, press the Alt key and click and um, in this way you clip the adjustment layer only to the smoke layer and um, next uh, step is we pull the slide up a little bit to change the contrast of this layer and I pull the opacity down to something like uh, 80% 80 Okay, back to the move tool by pressing V on the keyboard. Um, and then I create another layer and this layer I name sparkles. And um, inside this um, layer I place a file, choose place and um, here you use this file sparkles which you can download at this address on my website and you can see these are some sparkles on a um, black background press ok and on your keyboard and um, you change the um, blend mode to um, color dodge next with the layer selected you press on add layer mask to add a layer mask and um, press B on your keyboard to change the brush to something like this. I use 400 pixels hardness 0 and um, change the color to black and then you remove the sparkles outside of um, the um, glowing coal text like so okay then as a last step you create a new layer the last uh, layer and this one we rename to vignette and um, we fill this layer with black by pressing control backspace on the keyboard um, this depends uh, on the colors here, on the foreground, background color, which one is black and which one is white. And um, here we um, change the blend mode to um, uh, overlay. And uh, the opacity I reduce um, to 50. So now we have a um, fairly dark image. And um, we change to um, and the brush tool press add layer mask and um, with the black color selected you paint inside the image around the text resize the brush a little bit and um, if you want to you can try to paint around the characters a little bit like this L here so that the shadow looks like it is around the shape of the characters so 
I think that's it. Press F on your keyboard and F on your keyboard again. Press Ctrl 1 on your keyboard to zoom in. And that's it for our hot coal effect. And that's it for this tutor uh, tutorial. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like this clip. And as always, please subscribe to um, our channel for new tutorials every week. If you want to, you can visit our Facebook site and our website um, on tigerfishtutorials.com. My name is Kurt Elsner and thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.